Hello everyone, this is the Game Philosopher here. In this channel we talk about anime, manga, gaming, and philosophy. Now, I don't really read a lot of manga, which is kind of funny because I have manga as part of my introduction. Of course, it's a reference to an old popular meme from 2009, but... This is the book recommendation I have, which is about the character Jacko the Galactic Patrolman. His own novel, or graphic novel. In that whole entire uh, book, he pretty much does an adventure in Earth and he tries to get off of Earth. It's really interesting, and it also has the famous Dragon Ball Minus. Another big thing about Dragon Ball's. Uh, is that, you know, the movie Broly is coming out. Of course there have been Broly 1, 2, 3. There have been three Bro Broly so far. None of them were from Akira Toriyama's perspective. But there's something very common about the, the movies. As much as Broly is a controversial figure, he's actually a big part of Dragon Ball. A lot of people like Broly. Some people think he's dumb but cool. I mean... He totally is dumb but cool. I mean, like, he only can talk about one word, which is Kakarot, after he, of course, gets all full of key and stuff. But he's so cool and very strong, and there's, like, a lot of energy and stuff. So anyway, when you look at the first one, how did Goku defeat Broly? He asked his friends for strength, then he pretty much shoves his fist right up into the abdomen of Broly and destroyed him. Then, second one and third one, pretty much it follows a similar line where the Z fighters have to work together because you know, they're friends and they're going against this ultimate force of nature that's trying to kill everyone named Broly. And in order to do, to do this, they have to all combine as one and defeat him. Now, I'm not sure how exactly similar Akira Toriyama is going to have it, but we know there's at least going to be three different fights. Frieza versus Broly, then there's Frieza versus, I mean, Broly versus Vegeta, and Broly versus, so the big thing we're probably going to see is either there's going to be isolated fights and Broly pretty much decimates everyone until the end, or we'll see the same thing as the same uh, movies of the past, that Broly will decimate everyone, like I just said, then they all learn to work together and they defeat Broly. Now another option, or Akira Toyama could make if we look at the original trailer, is what if Broly's actually the good guy? Because, like, when you look at the battle, it looks like Goku and Broly are being uh, friendly and doing a friendly little spar. Now, this new trailer doesn't show it as much, but it's a possibility. And I think, really, that uh, when we examine it, there's a lot of power, a friendship that goes on within the battles against Broly because they all have to trust each other and give up all their energy and work as one, as a united unit through Goku, uh, either through the Kamehameha wave or through the punch, to fist Broly and defeat him. And it's something that we have to be very careful about when we're looking at friends, that we pick friends that are very supportive of us, and that we can be supported back so we can all work as one unit and do really great things. And in business, I think uh, the whole entire concept of trying to create a united front together, you could actually defeat someone like a force of nature just through forming a little coalition where people are all united into one and they're all trusting each other. And that's really the big thing about the power of friendship. Now this is a very short video compared to my usual ones. But, that's what you're going to get because there's really not much I can talk about with Broly unless I wanted to get into fan theory, which I usually don't. 
I mean, like, if I went to Fan Theory, what would the, this channel become? It would become another Game Theories or another uh, Geekdom 101. I don't want that. I mean, like, I do like Game Theories, I like Geekdom 101, but I prefer doing analysis after talking about philosophy all week. It's just my thing, because I like to learn from the stories, and it helps me be happier person, and I hope it helps you guys be happier and learn something so that you can improve your lives and do good things for everyone else. Now, if you like this video, like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell button. This is the Game Philosopher. Enjoy your time.